My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a beautiful 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air Sport Coupe V8 car. Actually, the V8 is a 265 cubic inch with dual quads, automatic power steering. Appears to be a rust free car, real nice piece. I sold this thing 15, 20 years ago and it found its way back home. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read the specs, study all the pictures, and you will find price tags on every one of the cars we have for sale, along with the monthly finance option as well. If you're enjoying the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. Uh, click, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, sharp looking car, Sierra Gold, Adobe Beige, uh, color combination, you don't see that often, it matches inside and out, real nice. Underneath the car has never been off the frame, restored, but it's really, really good. The floors, the inner rockers, the braces, to me, they all look original. I didn't see any patches, I didn't see rust, looked to be rock solid under the car. Still has its factory undercoat, um, but again, nice clean metal. Front end doesn't look like it was just rebuilt yesterday, but for sure, the ball joints, bushings, all that stuff has been replaced over time. Uh, in back, it has air shocks. <clears throat> the previous owner was fussy. I have three pages of handwritten notes about what uh, pressure to keep the air shocks and what pressure to keep the tires, what type of oil to use. Uh, so it came from a meticulous owner the new owner will get those three pages of notes uh, so you understand the car the best you can. Uh, getting back to the underside, we got a big scary bug. Uh, new gas tank, that looks fresh. Sending unit, I'm sure, was replaced at the same time. Nice dual exhaust system with glass pack style mufflers. Uh, the brakes were rebuilt about 6,000 miles ago, completely redone and bearings. Uh, you look up at the motor. Nice clean motor. I mean, it's actually very clean. Uh, starters rebuilt. They converted the canister type oil filter to a regular screw on uh, modern type oil filter, make things a little easier. It has a Power Glide automatic transmission. It is dated 1956, so uh, assumably the original for the car. The drive shaft has been rebuilt. The rear end is also dated 1956 and has 355 gears. So underneath this car, very nice, respectable. Uh, I talked about the brakes, the emergency brake cables are all hooked up. So I didn't see anything I did not like under the car. Now let's check out the body. Uh, it's the hard top, no post, uh, a little sportier, the sports coupe they call it. <clears throat> uh, nice clean metal down here. Oh, down low, I'm always feeling that's where they bubble. If there's rust or patch, you know, that's where it's going to show. Uh, all smooth along the bottom of this car. Right here is where the seam would be. So I always look at this area. It's all nice and clean. That same seam is down here, and it's all nice and smooth. All of this looks really good. Trunk fits really well all the way around, actually. That gap is real nice. Car is really straight, looking front to back. This is all nice. This body line is right. It's not wavy. This is all nice. The door fits real nice. No bubbles. And this is an older paint job, 15, 20 year old paint job, and it still is holding up really well. It all lines up real good. All metal. These rust up here too. No issues. The hood lines up real nice. It actually fits really nice on both sides. It's a little tight there, but <clears throat> doesn't look like it's touching. I'd say this fits real well. No bubbles, no issues. There is a scratch right here in the paint. Yeah, this side's just as good. Now, I was born these colors according to the tag. This is a metal flake color. It's laid out evenly. There's no blotchiness or cloudiness, all the same color. Uh, so the paint is laid out real nice. 
is a nice glossy clear coat finish. Um, I didn't notice any flaws except for that scratch. You know, I'm not saying I didn't miss something, but the paint job is really, really nice. It's a nice, smooth, shiny finish. Tail lights, these have all been replaced. All you know, beautiful as optional reverse lights. Bumper, all of that's been re-chromed. There's a mark here and there. Might have been done 15, 20 years ago, but it looks really good. And for those of you that don't know, there's where you put gas in a 56 Chevy. Emblems are new. Side moldings, they're stainless. They're really polished. They have a very shiny uh, stainless finish. All this trim, it's all been polished. It has a little flippers over the door. They work real well. Uh, windshield does have a tiny stone chip right here and a couple little surface chips. Uh, so it's not new, but it's still very good. Hood ornaments, sparkling. Now here's a couple little rock chips in the paint. All this up here is shiny and beautiful, not brand new. There's little tiny speckles in the chrome and minor, minor mark or scuff, but overall uh, seven out of, uh, to a nine, the front end of this car. Uh, it has T3 headlights, the original style headlights, original style antenna, torque thrust wheels, Look like they're 15 inch with some BF Goodrich tires. The flipper works on this side too. <clears throat> so there you have it. Why don't we check out the inside? Let's see what we have in the trunk. Well, it is painted very nicely as the weather strip looks like it's new. The whole trunk compartment is painted real nicely. The mat is cracked and falling apart a little bit, but you can see underneath is all nice metal, painted a smooth white. Uh, it has a painted rim with a white wall tire. It's actually never been used, so has the nubs on the tread. Also has the jack assembly uh, tucked away where it's supposed to be. A couple packages here, to be honest, they weigh almost nothing. Uh, it looks like material or some sort of fabric rolled up in there. So I don't know what that is, but the new owner will get that with the car. If it's money, you don't owe me anything. So the door jams are really clean. The bottom lip at the bottom edge of the door is clean. The latches look clean. The weather strips look real nice. Sill plates are shiny. Overall condition of the door panel, we'll call it good. It's not brand new, but it's good. It has a rare padded dash. You don't see these often, and when you do see them, they don't seem to fit that well. This is a really nice padded dash. Everyone asks, what's this? Uh, that's called a viewfinder. When the traffic light used to hang in the middle of the intersection, uh, you'd have to look up through your windshield to see it. Well, if you look in there, you can see the stoplight. Also has a day-night mirror. Uh, so the whole dash area is really nice. All the trim, the speedometer, the knobs, the heater controls, uh, has the optional clock, rear speaker lever, all that's really nice. And then hidden in the glove box is a modern uh, stereo. All the screws, nuts, bolts, everything's just really nice. Look underneath the heater box, the levers, kick panel, all real nice. Steering wheel's in a little, uh, real nice shape. The paint's a little rubbed thin in places, but it's really nice. Down on the floor, we got the correct square loop, real tight loop carpet. That's correct. Reproduction floor mats. Upholstery, uh, you know, little stained, a little, a little worn, so it's not brand new, but it's really nice. The seats are nice and firm. I love the chrome trim they put on the seats back then. It's just cool. The back seat's real nice. There's a couple of wrinkles in this bottom cushion, but the upholstery and the side panels, all fits very good. Not perfect, but very good. Same with the headliner. There's no rips or tears or holes. It's a white perforated headliner, working dome light. There's a little bit of yellow staining, <clears throat> very mild in a few places. The visors are real nice. 
I think it's a real good interior. So it is a 265 motor. They did offer a dual quad option that year. Uh, those are Carter carburetors with the pie pan air cleaners, factory aluminum intake, factory fuel line. Uh, they call it the Corvette motor. It has the finned aluminum Corvette valve covers, the correct choke tube, the right exhaust manifolds. Yeah, very stock, not full of custom aftermarket stuff. Battery is secured properly, has GM hoses and clamps. Uh, does have power steering. <clears throat> and electric wipers would be an option. The hinges are real nice. Uh, the radiator was upgraded uh, in his notes. Uh, he talks about that. It's got both fans. The nuts and bolts are clean. <laughs> Under the hoods painted real nicely. There you have it. You know what? This is just a really nice, honest car. There's a lot of good things going for it. Love the colors. Easy to drive. Power steering, automatics. Got the dual quads, so you got a little muscle. Makes it unique, too. Even if you're not putting your foot into it, you open the hood, you got dual quads sitting there. Door shuts beautifully. It's a real Bel Air V8, according to the VIN number. Uh, it is a correct motor for the car. So there you have it. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression. A couple more things I wanted to mention. It looks like the back window's new. That's crystal clear. Uh, I guess I just had one more thing to mention. So go to volocars.com. <clears throat> Salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered anywhere in the world. They can help finance the car at volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.